Hi guys, how are you going? Darren here from Nature's Classroom. It's 157 days now, 100% raw here at the Academy of Natural Living. And I've actually started to put on weight. Mind you, I have started training. So um, initially it was very important to um, rest. And even though we're doing work on the farm, to not do any extracurricular training or any type of programmed activity, this was important because um, we were conserving the vital force. And I was conserving the vital force within me so we could go to work healing. But we were up and moving through the day and doing natural work on the farm, growing food, doing whatever was required, and that gets the circulation going to help detoxification, you know, to help... Um, you know the lymph fluid move and the bloodstream move and get out get oxygen in and get wastes moving out to the organs of elimination all that type of thing um, which is why you don't want to be lying around in bed too much if at all possible but if you need the rest you need the rest so it's important to rest and sleep in your healing phases but coming down to a minimum weight was um pretty good because it not only did it allow me to detox, and I haven't detoxed this deeply before. When I was fasting um, in one of my trips into India, I went down. This was you know, just coming off bodybuilding and drug taking and all that type of stuff. And I went down to 57 and a half kilos. Um, but that was coming you know, off you know, somewhere between 75 to 78 kilos in weight of bodybuilding muscle tissue. And... Um, you know, whereas this time, after having spent some time experimenting with raw food and vegan food, and um, even though um, you know, a lot of the vegan stuff was cooked, I have gone through periods, you know, several months at a time where I've been experimenting with raw food. This time, I went down to a minimum weight of 53 and a half kilos before my body was definitely giving me the signal to include the animal product. And that happened through a dream. Um, which was my subconscious talking to me. So, uh, and I'm glad I listened to that dream. I have started to put on weight, so I've been doing some training, you know, some 1.5 to 3 kilometer jogs, some, you know, push ups, sit ups, chin ups, squats. Um, went out for a 14 kilometer walk through the rainforest, did a few river crossings. Um, I put my pack on, only about 20 kilos in my pack at the moment, but I'm a hiking enthusiast. I love to camp, I love to go hiking. So I've got 20 kilos in my pack. I've put on that, that on my back and gone out hiking. All these things have created a nutrient uptake demand in my body. So I've started to eat more food. Now it was essential that I give my body the rest and I've gone back and went down to a minimum weight to do that detoxification. And also, so I could start to get a feel of what it is my body's really asking for in terms of nutrition, staying 100% raw. So, you know, a lot of people aren't really aware of what their body is asking for, and they're afraid to lose the weight. First of all, they're not going to allow themselves a detox. Secondly, they're going to be force-feeding themselves when the body is trying to detox. And um, they're going to be eating anything and everything, and too much of things, and the wrong things, in an effort to try and keep the weight on. And I don't think that's necessarily a good thing. I think if you allow the weight to come off, start to feel at a base level what it is your body is really asking for nutritionally. That is in terms of quantity and as well as food type. And I think you have a good place to start with. Um, it's really good to be learning that. So with that activity, I've definitely started to take in more food, and I wouldn't have been able to take in that volume of food or this uh, level of food, um, and at the same time have allowed my digestive system to do the healing which it has done, and it's healed amazingly. And um, all those problems I was having around the bottom end, you know, all of that type of stuff has healed up. And even with the intake of the extra food, and sometimes I do push it a little bit, and, and, and my combinations aren't great, you know, probably a little bit too much fat or a little bit too much nuts, sometimes a little bit of dried fruit thrown in there. Um, even with some of those combinations and even overloading my digestive tract sometimes, those digestive problems and the problems around the bottom end haven't recurred. I might have got a pang every now and then saying, oh, be careful, you're overdoing it, but they haven't, you know, re-arisen, which means that the body is coping very well and what's 
more important is that I think it's the raw food really that is enabling the body to cope very well. And there's some science behind there which I'd love to share with you a little bit later on down the track. One of the reasons why I'm writing a book. Um, but definitely allowing the body the detox, going down a minimum weight, that rest to heal and now building up again and now I'm listening to the body more, taking in what it needs and I'm sorry for you vegans out there. For me, I think animal product has been a very important part of that. Otherwise, my energy levels have been too low um, and I, my hunger, constantly hungry and not even not being able to get enough food in at my two meals a day. Staying 100% raw and staying with the two meals per day, the only way my digestive system is able to cope is by having a little bit of the animal product. Otherwise, I just simply can't get the volume of food in. I can't get the volume of food in those two meals a day. Now, I have cheated a couple of times. Sometimes after lunch or even after dinner, um, I have had a snack. So maybe a little bit after the fruit meal has gone down at lunch, I've then gone and eaten some nuts or a couple of handful of Corella tablets. Um, Sometimes after the main meal, I've also had some dried fruit, um, you know, in the evening, or even some nuts again, um, because it didn't feel quite like I had enough. But with the animal product, getting in a little bit of animal product, a lot of those cravings and those, that need to snack has disappeared. Also, too, a couple of times in the morning, after I have done a little bit of yoga and stretching and all type of stuff, I felt my nervous system really wanting something. So I have had then maybe a handful of chlorella tablets or um, some wild raw bush honey you know just a spoonful of wild raw bush honey a big spoon and that has gone into the system and really stopped me becoming hypoglycemic and my nervous system struggling so that has happened a couple of times you know but my body is definitely adapting and especially with the animal product I find I'm getting in those extra essential fatty acids, which are essential for the brain and the nervous system. Some of those extra minerals, uh, fat-soluble vitamins, which some people might find it hard to get in if they haven't fully adapted. And my body is still adapting, I bet. Um, you know, so some of those fat-soluble um, vitamins, some minerals, you know, zinc, things like that. Um, and some of those essential amino acids, which might be a little bit on the low side with just the raw fruits and vegetables and the nuts. Considering that I can't get anywhere near the volumes in that Doug Graham is getting, my digestive system simply won't allow that at the time. So that has really, really helped. Um, it's helped to quell the hunger. It keeps my nervous system more stable. I feel better. I feel happier. Um, I sleep much, much better as well. The nervous system isn't pinging all the time at night because I just think it was struggling a little bit. So two meals a day, um, and yeah, a little bit of animal product, and um, I think I'm doing well. I'll leave it at that now, but there's more stuff I definitely have to share with you, so um, I'll be back to see you very soon. Bye-bye.